15 weather forecast. While it was mild this morning, it's been kind of a dreary start to the day as we've had just some cloud cover hanging around. Not really very many heavy showers, but just enough to kind of put a damper on the start of this Mother's Day weekend. But we are tracking more of these chances of showers to take us through the weekend. And here's a look at the satellite and radar. Much more widespread towards the central part of the state. Even some relatively heavier rates of rainfall just northeast of Nielsville. That's where you see indicated by those yellows. It's been pretty light here towards the Chippewa Valley for the most part. Now this all comes as a result of that low that is towards southern Nebraska now. This is very slowly sliding across the plains as it has gotten caught up in an upper level low that well, doesn't really have much uh, place to go. So this is going to slowly slide towards the northeast again giving us those chances at some showers through the next couple of days. It's also brought some stronger storms towards parts of central Nebraska. Otherwise, through the afternoon, again, just some on and off chances at some showers actually going to cool it off a little bit as we're starting off into the low 70s, but by around dinner time should be into the upper 60s. Here's a look at our Nicolay Bank Skycam overlooking Hastings Way. Again, not much rain falling at the moment, but clouds have been dominant through the morning, and that will continue to be the case, of course, through the afternoon. Temperature of 72 degrees right now, and winds have remained fairly light, but those dew points have been creeping up throughout the morning, now sitting at 57 degrees for our dew point. And 60 degrees is kind of that threshold where it starts to feel a little muggy. Otherwise, areas to the south, that's where it's a little on the cooler side. Again, they've had more rain throughout the morning. That's where we have a lot of mid-60s and some lower 70s further towards the northwest. Winds mostly out of the east, a lot of us between 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now going into tomorrow, that's where these winds will start to pick up a little bit more as that low gets closer in proximity and we'll have a pretty breezy day with winds out of the east. Now going through this afternoon, we are expecting just some on and off chances at some showers, mostly dry through the overnight and going into tomorrow morning, there may be a chance at a few showers, but really most of the day has trended drier, at least as of the last few model runs. Then going through tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening, a few more chances of showers, especially going into tomorrow night and into the early hours of Sunday morning. Now going into Sunday afternoon, this is where high pressure will start to drift down from the north. This will help clear out that cloud cover from north to south. So areas to the south, mostly around the I-90 corridor, can expect some showers into the early hours of Sunday afternoon, but going into the evening, that's where things will start to clear out down that way. So we may even get a little bit of sunshine for the afternoon on Sunday, which is some good news for the mothers. Otherwise, temperatures this afternoon expected to get into the low 70s. Again, mostly cloudy, a few chances at some scattered showers, and later on tonight, dipping into the upper 50s. Again, just a few chances at some showers, but mostly staying dry. And then the question remains, what's the temperature going to look like on Mother's Day? And while we do cool it off a little bit, it'll still hang out around average as we hang out into the upper 60s. Beyond that, though, again, we do clear out going into Sunday night, and this will give way to plenty of sunshine through the start of next week. And temperatures have been trending slightly warmer, especially for Tuesday. A lot of mid-70s will take us into the middle of next week with just a slight chance at some showers going into Thursday. Now for a Sunshine Award today, Katie Proshinsky would like to nominate Theodore Joas and says we're new to the school district and he was so kind and communicated well with myself and my student. Mr. Joas is full of smiles and very inviting at the beginning of the year and continues to be a positive influence for my daughter. She's never complained about a bad day with him and is actually sad when he's gone and they have a substitute. We are so thankful to have a great teacher like him at Locust Lane Elementary and in the Eau Claire area schools community. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. Well, Mike, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I sure feel like, you know, with such warm weather, I can't be too upset about a few showers that are going to happen in the next few days. You know, I, I have to agree with you on that one because it's just going to be a very beautiful start to next week. I look forward to it. Thanks so much.